Have you ever shared something personal with just anyone and got let down by that action? Have you ever regretted saying something personal to someone because certain events later showed you should have kept your mouth shut and saved yourself a lot of trouble? We all have times when we desire to trust others with certain information about ourselves. This is good. In a bid to build strong relationships with others, we must be able to communicate and even share personal matter with them to strengthen the bond between us. However, there are really some things that you should not bother sharing with certain people. At least, it doesn't mean that you do not trust them or that you are not making an attempt to trust them. It just isn't necessary to share those things with them if you want to have a healthy, sane life. If you desire a saner life, here are 10 things you should think about keeping to yourself. 1. Your goals Your goals are beautiful. They describe the kind of life you want for yourself and how far you are willing to go to get it. Your goals are centered around you, what you want to achieve, and if at all, how you are going to leverage the help of others to achieve it. As I wrote, your goal centers on yourself, so very few people should know about your goals. Why is this? Because for one, we all naturally care about ourselves and conversations not about us, not focused on us, but on other persons, rarely interest us. Second, sharing your goals with the wrong person or people could truncate the achievement of your goals. So many dreams and goals have been shoved down the sewer because of destructive criticism from goalless people who those dreamers chose to share their dreams with. If your goals matter so much to you, that's beautiful. But know that nobody, or just very few people, care to know about it. Writer and entrepreneur Derek Sivas gave the advice during a TED talk, keep your goals to yourself. The reason is simple. Research has shown that sharing our goals with others makes these goals less likely to happen. This is because we feel instantly gratified when others notice our goals. This way, our minds become swayed into believing we have achieved that goal. As a result, instead of going after the goal, we either become less motivated to pursue the goal or we stop chasing after the goal because we feel there is no longer a need to achieve those goals. Psychologists describe this occurrence as social reality. 2. You are looking for a job Getting a job is great. You may be struggling at work or be desiring to transition to something bigger and better than where you presently are. Looking out for another job is certainly not something you want to share with your boss or your co-workers. If you don't keep this information to yourself, you might get ratted out and lose your present job. Declaring you are seeking another job may not go well with some of your colleagues at work who are already interested in your position or are likely just desirous to see you kicked out anyway. They may use this announcement for job search as a chance to get you out of the company because you even quit your job at all. And if your boss begins questioning your loyalty to the company, you might be on a faster lane to losing your job. Additionally, if your company starts considering downsizing, you are more likely to get the pink slip since you are planning to leave anyway. This is only great if you are certain you will get a job offer from the other company. But what if you don't? 3. Your past affairs Most of us have had past relationships and it would be the meanest thing or perhaps foolish thing to rant about our past affairs in our present relationship, especially when you think your past affairs seem to be better than your present relationship. Such comparison soon starts to damage the relationship because it affects your partner. When you're dead in love with your partner, you may want to reveal every bit of your past life to your partner. However, there is a big difference between being honest with someone and telling them your life story. If you're not cheating on your partner right now, for example, then you shouldn't disclose information about your unfaithfulness in past relationship. Your past is in your past now. Leave it there. When you confess to past acts of unfaithfulness, it might make your partner never to trust you. The instant there is no trust in your relationship, you have nothing. 4. You have a criminal record If you have a criminal record, is it really necessary to announce it to others on the whim? On certain occasions, you may need to disclose to others if you've ever been convicted. However, if your criminal record is insignificant, then it is safe to keep the information to yourself. Why is this important? A criminal record could mess up a lot of things for you. 
it could obstruct a lot of opportunities from getting to you. It can stop you from getting jobs, especially. The sad thing is that anyone can have access to your criminal records anyway. But to keep certain people from your business, clean up your criminal records by expunging it. Expungement, also known as sealing, is a court-administered process that restricts public access to criminal records. Although law enforcement agencies will still be able to access your records, you usually must file a petition to have your records expunged. But in some cases, expungement is automatic. 5. Your financial situation Okay, the social media might be bustling with people who want you to know they have all the money in the world. But here's the thing, nobody cares how rich you are. Nobody cares how much money your spouse earns. If you make more money than your peers or family members, you could lose your head in the process. They could despise you for that and may continue to use you to their own advantage. 6. Your weaknesses We all have weaknesses. You suck at your weaknesses. If you don't want to be taken advantage of or sound like a fool, don't talk so much about your weaknesses. You don't have to act like you're perfect, but you also don't have to push your weaknesses in people's faces. Doing so could be an excuse for not wanting to get things done. People could sense it and consider you simply irrelevant. When people know your weaknesses, they gain so much power over you. Too often, they end up using your weaknesses against you. According to the biblical story, Samson couldn't have fallen if he hadn't disclosed his weakness to Delilah. When people are insecure, it is just natural that they would keep using their weaknesses against you because it helps to hide their own weaknesses. So, keep your weakness to yourself. 7. Your marital problems Not everyone should know about your marital problems. In fact, beyond your therapist, not everyone should know the intricacies of your marital situation. It's easier for your spouse to forgive your mess-ups and let them go. But for your family members and friends, it is not. They would always remember that he or she messed up at some point even though you and your spouse have moved on. 8. Your health condition It is good to share your health issues with your doctor and also your family members. However, you may want to consider keeping it away from your colleagues at the office. If your boss gets a wind of your health condition, especially if it's affecting your productivity, you may be relieved of your job. You don't want your boss thinking you are slowing down the company's progress because of your ill health. You can call in sick, but you should keep the details back. 9. Your good deeds If the world has to know about every good deed you do, you are basically hypocritical. Jesus clearly states in the Bible that when you do a good deed, don't announce it. Just by announcing it, you might as well forget about doing the good because you already know why you did it to turn the spotlight on yourself. And people don't appreciate it when you publicly announce how you have helped them, showing off how good you are deliberately in the process. It shows you off as goofy and limits your chances of being received next time. Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. 10. Your past resentments Nobody leaves without being hurt by someone. If someone hurt you long ago, let go of it. It's needless holding grudges against people for something they did 10 years ago. It's also unfair to transfer the hurt to others. The people in your life at the moment aren't responsible for your pain, so don't lug it on them. Leave the past in the past. According to Psychology Today, holding on to resentment can lead to unhappiness, continual irritability and psychological compromise, including excessive anxiety and depression. Sometimes, it's just right to put yourself in the other person's shoes. Why did they do what they did? Perhaps, something was going on in their lives at the time. When you can carefully put yourself in their shoes, you might start to see differently. Don't go for revenge. Instead, forgive and move on. If this video has helped you realize the things you should keep to yourself, subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos. We love you.